My concern about climate change and national security rests upon the work that I do in Washington on both the Armed Services Committee and the Intelligence Committee, and I can tell you it is a serious, very serious issue. It's pretty clear that uh, as we conduct operations around the world, that climate change has an impact on our national security, how we defend ourselves. What people were saying that climate change is going to be a problem, it is now a problem. Marines and all military are going to consider dispassionately what the threats are. We're agnostic in most things, okay? What is important to us is what do we have to consider in order to defend this nation? We identify threats. It doesn't matter what political uh, sensitivity surrounds that. It is stupid to disregard threats. Climate change is a threat. The effects of climate change as threat multipliers. It increases the uh, likelihood of strife, of uh, political upheaval, of conflict, and uh, that's why it's a very significant national security problem. Portsmouth Naval Shipyard and Bath Iron Works are really in the crosshairs for sea level rise problems, and it's a problem that needs to be addressed now. I think the first thing to do is to quit denying it and admit that this is a serious problem and then set to work uh, doing something about it. Americans are very practical minded, they're very creative, they're problem solvers. It's pretty clear to me that we need to cut back on the amount of CO2 that we're putting in the atmosphere. If you're in office, if you uh, have anything to do with our national security, you have a responsibility to understand all of the environmental threats. We know that they're challenges and uh, the smart people are going to say whatever the cause is, we have to address them.